At a time when rheumatoid arthritis is the most famous autoimmune arthritis that patients know about, there are other autoimmune arthritis diseases that are also not uncommon at all. One of them is psoriatic arthritis, which is what we are going to talk about in this video. I'm Dr. Hatem al Professor of Rheumatology, and what we do here is a big video series for patient education about the different types of arthritis. Psoriatic arthritis is an autoimmune disease. In this disease, the immune system makes the mistake of not recognizing some of the joints of the body as part of the body. It thinks they are microbes and starts to attack them. So those joints get inflamed. The most commonly affected joints here include the hand joints, the feet joints, elbows, knees, and maybe joints of the spine sometimes. Symptoms of inflammation can be pain and swelling maybe, and stiffness of the involved joints. The word psoriasis in medicine is actually commonly related to an autoimmune skin disease called psoriasis. However, psoriasis in medicine also relates to the autoimmune disease that affects the joints that is called psoriatic arthritis, which is the topic of this video. Some patients will get the skin disease only. Some patients will get, will get the skin disease and the joint disease together and at the same time. And some patients will get the joint disease only, psoriatic arthritis without any skin affection. Sorting out psoriatic arthritis from the other types of autoimmune arthritis, like rheumatoid arthritis, for example, which is the most famous autoimmune arthritis, is done by listening to the details of the symptoms of the patient and examining the patient and also by some imaging tests that we doctors will order. Another video is dedicated to the topic of making that differentiation. Treatment at this point in time is by prescribing a family of medications called the MODs, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. This is a big family of medications and each autoimmune arthritis will require certain medications from this family, but not all of them, of course. In the end, I will leave for you links for important posts and videos about autoimmune arthritis and its treatment. Kindly don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my social media pages. You will receive links for new videos that will help you a lot with your arthritis. Music